friends, I'm Laura, and welcome to my podcast, Her Journey Towards Change. This is a faith-based life coaching podcast for women who, like me, are on a journey to live the best life possible. And then something happens. Something unforeseen and everything changes. Life feels foreign and you feel stuck. And it's difficult to move forward. And reaching out can be hard, right? Believe me, I know. If this is you, this podcast is for you. I don't claim to have all the answers, but I know who does. God wants more for us, for you and for me. You were created to live your best life. So I hope you will go on this journey with me to a more positive perspective and take those hard steps together through her journey towards change. Together, let's break through the barriers which are holding us back from achieving what God has called us to be. So let's go, and I hope you will go on this journey with me. Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to the podcast. I am Laura, your host, and today is Wednesday. And on Wednesday, I do a midweek motivation And today, what I really want to talk about is something that is very important to me. And I hope, I hope that it is just as important to you as it is to me, because this episode is for all women, including myself, who are challenged from the lesser to the, to the greatest degree possible when, when when you're challenged with self-doubt limiting beliefs of who you are or of who you are not, according to your appearance and your status, your expectations of others, and your achievements and your self-worth. Today in part one of two, I want to share with you who you are not. So today, I'm I'm going to discuss, well, I'm actually not going to discuss it. I'm just going to tell you who you are not. I want to raise awareness of those misconceptions of lies that we tell ourselves as women. I want to challenge our limiting beliefs um, of your self-doubts and your failures, and I want to replace them with the truth, the more rational and the more reasonable logic, because you are more, way more than what you think or way more than what anyone else says or thinks you are. You are more according to the God that I love and that I know and that I serve. So I just want to share with you, just let me share these few things of who you are not. You are not average. You are not your struggle. You are not a mistake or a problem to be solved. You are not for everyone. You are not the only one in your current season of life right now. You are not fat. You are not skinny. You are not a burden. You are not your depression. You are not your cancer. Let me say that again. You are not your cancer. You are not a Democrat. You are not a Republican. You are not a liberal and you are not a conservative. You are not a mental state of mind. You are not a number. You are not your weight. You are not a trophy. You are not an object. You are not an attitude. You are not fragile. You are not blind. You are not deaf. You are not dumb. You are not a failure. You are not for abuse. You are not helpless. Let me say that again. You are not helpless. You are not your bad days. You are not inferior. You are not your job. You are not less than. You are not to be controlled and you are not to be silenced. You are not your age. You are not a drama queen. You are not superficial. You are not flaky. You are not overbearing. You are not scattered-brained. 
You are not defeated. You are not a baggage. You are not your emotions. You are not where you live. You are not what you wear. You are not what you look like. And you are not what others think or say. And you are not alone. You are not alone. I hope that some of these or one of these has resonated with you today to let you know that this is not who you are. None of this is who you are. This is not who God made you to be. This is not who God wants you to be. Next week, I want you to tune in to next week's Midweek Motivation Moment. And I will tell you who you really are. And until next week, I hope you guys have a great day.